this is Claire Rowan, Managing Editor of Food and Beverage International here at Anuga Food Tech at uh, the Wild Eindag stand. And Claudia Müller-Buchhausen is going to tell me about the technology that they have on show and some of the interesting uh, developments that have happened at the show. Claudia, thank you for the time and uh, please do tell me about that machine. Yeah, okay, we have here on our stand um, a machine, it's showing um, an Indag rotary piston pump, which is actually a module that you can use for a lot of things. In yogurt industry, you have it in beverage and food. And what we're showing here, what is pretty special about this machine, is um, that you can um, pump chunky products, like pieces in yogurt, fruit pieces, meatballs, and dose it very exactly. You don't have any waste outside the machine, it's not dirty, it's not, yeah, no wasted material, ingredients, yeah. and um, all the pieces, they stay as they were put in the machine, so when the um, consumer opens the end product, it's it looks nice, tasty, and that's something really important for the end product, you know, customers, the eyes also see what they eat and that's very important. So that's something we're showing here. It's a module that can be included or incorporated in uh, one of our process technology machines and the pouch packing machines like the uh, filling, we have a rotary filler, linear fill filling machine depending on the um, pouch size and pouch type because we have um, something we call a standard pouch. It's just uh, the one that you know from Capri Sun with the straw. And then we have a spouted pouch, which is reclosable. So that's very actually good for spot strings or if you have an applesauce you want to do on your pancake, then you can like squeeze it and it's already a dosing, small dosing machine. So yeah, that's pretty good actually. Uh, what's more, what we're um, seeing right now, this year at Anunga Food Tech, is that it's getting more and more international. Um, actually, years ago it was just um, a national show. We had a lot of German companies, Austrian, Switzerland. But right now, right in next to us, we have an American company and also exhibitors as well as visitors. They are really international. We had people on our stand from Africa, from South America, from Asia, Japan, China, Taiwan. So yeah, that's really good for us because we are a small company but still international. You know, our machines. I think, correct me if I'm wrong, they are in over a hundred countries we have wild intact machines. So, yeah, pretty good fare for us. <laughs> that sounds great. And you've got some superb looking finished products on your stand that yeah. we can take a photo of later. Mm -hmm. But uh, what new sort of demands have you seen from visitors for different product sectors? Are mm -hmm. there more on the, the juices or dairy or convenience foods? Have you seen any change there? Yeah, what's really a trend is convenience food. You know, we have um, the pouch packing for food industry. We have, you can, you can fill on our machines ketchup, you can fill salad dressings, you can fill ready-to-eat meals, sauces. Yeah, so that's something people and also international companies are really interested in. Because in Germany, we have a big client and it works pretty well there. And, you know, you see all the products from them. Yeah. That's brilliant. I'm glad to hear that it's uh, going so well and I'm very grateful for the time you've taken to talk to me and uh, explain to, uh, to us about the, uh, the, the piston pump and the technology. Thank you, Claudia. Enjoy the rest of the show. Thanks. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks for downloading this foodbev.com podcast. You can also follow us on YouTube, Facebook, Tumblr, Twitter, Vimeo, Google Plus and LinkedIn.